Justin Flom, Rick Lax. These two men are unknown to the general public, yet they run pages that have generated 200 billion views. A few years ago, they were a couple of D-list celebrity magicians, but in just a few years, they received 20 times the views of Mr. Beast's entire catalog. You've probably watched one of their videos and haven't even realized it. That's why today, we analyze the content that has made them. What's the title of the video? The biggest content creator you've never heard of. The biggest content creators you've never heard of. I have uncovered a conspiracy. Two words. Facebook magicians. They are running the most insane operation. It all makes sense now. Here to here to here. Wall Street to here to... to look, look at that, huh? Huh? Wall Street, triangle eye that will get me demonetized. We go up, we go down. Script for this video, network media. Make sense? <laughs> Little Ricky over here has only been an internet magician. He's never seen a live audience in his life. This guy got his start in the magic world by selling products, how to do magic, and Facebook videos. Drew Gooden made a very great video on him. Oh, and then we got Justin right here. He used to be well respected. Used to. He would perform live. He went on Ellen. Had an all right TV show, Wizard Wars. And both of them threw it all away. The next part is where the evilness comes in. Justin made a little video called Soldier's Deck of Cards. It starts with a soldier overseas at war. Who's basically saying a deck of cards is a Bible and a soldier uses the deck of cards to remind him of the Bible. Absolute favorite, Jesus, who is the king. In fact, he's the king of my heart. Alright video, but it blew up. It was a hit with those Midwest moms. I think Rick saw the success of the Bible Soldier video. He said, Justin, there's money in this. We gotta recreate it. We gotta jump on this sucker while it's hot. And then Justin said, La la, sounds good to me. I'm Cookie Monster. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what voice is like good to be demonic, but it sounded like Cookie Monster. Hello. I have two things I wanted to reinstate. One is all of this content is made by magicians. Number two is everyone you are about to see is not a real soldier. They are simply somebody in a party city outfit cosplaying as one. Is it me or does this one feel like a setup to a softcore? So basically these videos, Justin Flom, Rick Lax, pretty much all of these Soldier Comes Home videos are super boring. Like this video, I edited it down from like 15 minutes. Like it is insanely long. There's a lot of buildup and nobody really likes a softcore with buildup. So as you can see, he left a rose at the door then went to go hide. He has a bunch of roses now. What's he do? He rings the doorbell and now he's actually going to give her the big bouquet. What do you know? What happens? Let's see. Let's see. Classic. Are you kidding me? Who's that? What are you doing here? Are you kidding me? I come back from the service and this is what I get? Why did Everybody loves soldiers. But what I want to know is how does anybody believe this? It genuinely has the same acting as a softcore. The funny thing is when you look at the comments, all these middle-aged Midwestern moms, they're all like, oh my God, I feel so bad for him. I would never do that to my husband if he was out at war, but my husband is too scared to go out to war because he's a dirty draft dodger. Next video. weird like what's i have a couple buddies in the military they all tell me the same thing if you wear tennis shoes in your military outfit you get waterboarded and then look at his girlfriend too if you wear open toe shoes in walmart as an employee you get waterboarded that's walmart's policy they need to form a union all the content you've seen so far has been from these two let's not forget this big old web right behind me
One of their cultists is a man by the name of Ricardo Laguna. Check out this video he made. I want you to suck in every single detail of that video. Now what I want you to do is watch this video Justin Flaw made. By chance, did you notice anything? This video was filmed one week after this video. You guessed it, in one week's time, this man healed himself from his handicap. He no longer needs a wheelchair. Was it stem cell therapy? Was it, I don't know, um, 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 an act of God? You know what, all seriousness, out of character, I wanna take a moment here to just say this feels super disingenuous. Sure, you have all the Midwest moms in the comments loving this video, Video, but you also have a plethora of veterans telling them this is disrespectful. They need to stop. Are they going to stop? No, it's $10 per thousand views. Why would they stop? Money, 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 money. Now this is the second half of the video. I wanted to end it on a lighter note. The content we're gonna be looking at, it's just a waste of your time. All of them make a plethora of videos where it's like 15 minutes long. It's supposed to be building up to something big and just nothing happens. Like the cameraman's sex life, ayo. Ah! These videos do one thing and one thing only. Kill brain cells. Keep in mind, guys, this is a 15-minute video. While researching, I watched all 15 minutes. The whole premise of this video is a man trying to give his wife a yeast infection. Few more points to add. This is the most oblivious woman in the world. Mentos keep constantly hitting her calves. If the home was getting robbed, she'd be dead. Gone. Forever. Bye. I'm angry. With all that being said, you still have people in the comments thinking this is real. Ah! Next video. So here's my real problem with the video, right? You have a woman, she's on the run from the law. The law chases her down the street. She eventually decides, you know what? I'm gonna hop inside this random lady's house, hide under her bed. The officer at this point has no idea where she went, but the officer walks by this woman's house, sees a lady sleeping on the bed. What does he do? He jumps through the window and begins to look for her inside the house. Excuse me, what happened to the Fourth Amendment? I thought we needed warrants in this country? Or did the Supreme Court get rid of that too? Next video. Now this video feels like it's like weird fetish material. I can't say the word I want to say, but fetish material. I think the fetish that's being catered to in this video is for like husband and wives who, you know, they get their Stouffer's microwave ready meal, go in separate rooms. They don't really even look at each other. They don't acknowledge each other's existence. They're more so acquaintances than really lovers and acquaintances who live together at that. And they like to watch these Justin Flom videos just to, to picture themselves in a loving relationship, not devoid of meaning. More importantly, who the hell drinks straight up milk with dinner? Best way to find a serial killer is see what he's drinking with dinner because it's going to be plain white milk. Ring, 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 officer. I found the serial killer. Yeah, it's the guy drinking plain white milk, obviously. We should bring back lobotomies. 
So I just wrapped up editing. I wanted to throw this in at the end because I feel like it's important. When you click the See More tab on any Rick Lax Productions video, it will say this is for entertainment purposes only. In my opinion, that's done strategically because most of the old people watching these videos are not clicking that See More tab. That's why so many old people believe this is real. Now with that being said, most of the content we looked at was very goofy and silly, but some of the videos they're faking just feel so wrong. I read every comment on that video. Not one person is saying it's fake. When you click that little see more button, read the description, it will say for entertainment purposes only. Nobody is clicking the see more button. Justin, Rick, put that in the first two seconds of your video. Now, I will say this real quick. I am very much so against America starting a war with everything that moves for the past 70 years. Very much so against that. But these young men and women coming back from that are experiencing more trauma than any of us will receive in our lifetime. Justin, Rick, you're multi-millionaires. Why don't you prove you love the military so much and donate to one of these charities? Preferably above $10,000. That won't hurt your pocketbook. That's like me giving a dollar. Do it!